Long before the road rage incident Tuesday night, people who live here along Broad Street say the ATVs and dirt bikes are more than a nuisance. They are a dangerous problem. We've been telling them for the past year something like this is going to happen. Something serious is going to happen. There goes one right now. They, along with the ATVs, are illegal to drive on city streets, but Tom has seen it and has video of it becoming the norm. The police keep telling us, you know, call 911, get it on the record. By the time we call 911, the, the riders are far gone. He wrote a letter today to Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw, Mayor Jim Kenney, and Councilman Mark Squilla, begging them to do something. Councilman Squilla said, I am working with the managing director, law department, and police to create an ongoing detail to address this concern. We need multiple forms of enforcement for this to be resolved. Philadelphia police have done crackdowns in the past, confiscating the vehicles, but the evidence shows it's hard to keep up. Over the past week or so, we've been starting conversations with some of the other council members. John Murphy is fed up, too. In a statement, District Attorney Larry Krasner said the criminal justice system should not be leading the conversation on traffic issues, but that fair and effective enforcement of traffic rules is possible without excessive criminalization, adding, my office is prepared to be a partner in ensuring streets and roads are safe. The police, they're understaffed, they're under budget, COVID's played a huge part in you know, a hit to the city budget. But as citizens, we're also willing to step up and work with the city to find the solutions. In Center City, Matt Delusha, NBC 10 News.